Five locations outside the Middle East, once suggested for a Jewish homeland. 1. Ararat, City of Refuge. In 1825, New York politician Mordecai Manuel Noah founded a town. He called it Ararat. Noah purchased most of the 27 square mile Grand Island. His intention was to offer Jews a new homeland. A stone marking Ararat's founding reads in English and Hebrew. Here, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Ararat, a city of refuge for the Jews, founded by Mordecai Manuel Noah. In the month Tishrei, September 1825, and in the 50th year of American independence, the idea failed to attract any interest. All that remains of Ararat is the stone. 2. Uganda Scheme In 1903, Britain came up with a plan. Why not create a Jewish homeland in British East Africa? The plan was endorsed by Theodor Herzl himself. The founder of Zionism viewed it as a temporary solution. Britain offered 5,000 square miles at Wasangishu. This isolated area is actually in modern-day Kenya. An expedition was sent to scout out the land in 1904. However, most Zionists were outraged at the idea. They cite as a betrayal of their struggle for a state of Israel. British white settlers in East Africa were likewise hostile. The Uganda scheme was rejected in 1905. 3. Jewish Autonomous Oblast This Jewish autonomy in Russia still exists on the map, but it has never gained traction as a Jewish homeland. The GAO was created by decree of the Soviet government. They didn't endorse religion, but they wanted to counter Zionism. Jews, according to their plans, would get their own autonomy. Their lifestyle would be socialist in content and national in form. A tract of land in the remote Far East was allocated. At the time, it was a wilderness with few settlements. No Jews had ever lived there. The area, then called Biribijan, was chosen for political reasons. It was close to the Chinese border. The climate was harsh, and the landscape largely swampland. New settlers would have to build their lives from scratch. The Biribijan experiment never really took off, despite some early enthusiasm. GEO remained interdeveloped. The share of Jewish population in the Jewish autonomy peaked at 16%. Today, it's around 1%. 4. Fugu Plan This exotic 1934 scheme was drawn up by Imperial Japan. The Japanese believed Jews would bring economic benefits to Japan. However, the Imperial establishment was also anti-Semitic. So the idea was to convince Americans the Americans would relocate European Jews to Japanese-occupied Shanghai. Another proposed location was the quasi-state of Manchukuo. The Japanese believed Jews to be smart, but dangerous. A Japanese noble compared letting them in to eating toxic fugu fish. Delicious, but potentially lethal. The Japanese drew up detailed layouts for Jewish settlements. They would be able to house up to 600,000 European Jews. Nothing ever came out of it. 5. Madagascar Plan This was a suggested policy of Nazi Germany. The idea was to expel all European Jews to the island of Madagascar. It was proposed in June 1940, when German victory in France was imminent. Madagascar was a French colony in those days. The planners also expected a peace treaty with Britain. This would put the Royal Navy at Germany's disposal for use in the evacuation. The plan was officially announced in an August 15th memorandum. It called for the resettlement of a million Jews per year for four years. The island would be governed as a police state under the SS, but Germany failed to defeat Britain, so the plan was tabled.